Hello everyone. Welcome back to Soma Tutorials. Class, second PUC state syllabus, MCQ, session number two. In this session, we have to be discussing the multiple choice questions of chapter two, Boolean algebra. The first question is that, what is another name of Boolean algebra. Options are binary algebra, B switching algebra, C both A and B, option D none of these. So what is the correct answer of these questions? What is another name of Boolean algebra? The correct answer is both A and B. Boolean algebra, we can also called as binary algebra and also the switching algebra. Boolean algebra is a binary algebra. Another name of Boolean algebra is also called as switching algebra. So that option number C is the correct answer, both A and B. Next question. What do you understand by logic function options are logic statements b compound statement c both a and b d none of these these are all options of discussion what do you understand by logic functions answer is option number c both a and b because Logic statements we can also call it as truth functions are combined with help of logical operators like and or and not to perform a logical function. So that it is alternative name is that compound statement. Logical function we can also call it as logic statement and also the compound statement. So that the correct option is option number c option both a and b next question give an example for logic function so already i told that logic function or the logic functions are the combined with the help of the logical operators like and or and not so that is we can call it as a logic function so given examples for the logic functions options are Option A, X, not Y or Z. Option B, Y and X or Z. Option C, X and Y or Z. Option D, all of these. So, correct answer is option number D. All of these, all of these, it is a correct answer because all the logical operators are present in this the logical functions like and or and not so that is the correct answer is all of these next question what is meant by tautology options are option a a statement that is always true option b a statement that is always fallacy that means false option c both a and b option d none of these so which is the correct answer option number a a statement that is always true so that we can call it as tautology why it is called as the tautology so in this the truth table it represents the tautology so tautology is a statement that is always true if you construct the truth table here is an example for a statement that all the column values for the statements are true then the statement is called tautology because it is always true so see here the first column values are represented as a x second column values are represented as a y the results of these two representation either it is or either it is and either it is not or any 
testing operations are to be performed here. The results of these operations, which is always true, so that this type of statement is called as the tautology. Tautology is that it is a statement that is always true. It is called tautology. Here is example. Next question is, what is meant by fallacy? Option A, a statement that is always true. Option B, statement that is always fallacy. Option number C, both A and B. Option number D, none of these. Final answer is option number B because the statement it is always false so that we can call it as a fallacy. So you are also the truth table. So in this the truth table, the fallacy is a statement that is always false. Here is the correct answer. So here we have to be constructing the truth table for a statement and all of the column values for the statements are false. The result of this all the operations are to be performed here. The result of this statement, which is always false, it is represented as a zeros. Then the statement is a fallacy because a stated statement that is always false. So that is called the fallacy. Next question is the law states that when a variable is combines with itself by using or or an AND operator, the output is the same variable which is called. So, which law states that the options which are in impotence law, option B is involution law, option C is commutative law, option D is associative law. So, which law states that the statement is that the law states that when a variable is combined with itself using the AND and or operator, the output is the same variable so that options are in the potence in relation commutative and also associative law the correct option is option number a in the potence law in the potence law this law states that when a variable is combined with itself using or an and operator the output is the same variable so here is the diagrammatic representation of in the impotence law, the statements which are x plus x, which is also equal to x. Another statement is x into x, it is also equal to x. So but in the diagrammatic representation, the A diagram here is that x plus A. So in this, any variable, any single variable which is combines with itself by using or operator here or is represented as a plus so that x plus x which is also equal to x then the b representation x into x here is the x is a variable which is combines with itself by using the and operator that is a dot operator so that is also equal to the same variable that is called the indipotence law the next question is that this law states that the complement of a variable is complemented again. Then we get the same variable. So that options which are independence law, involution law, commutative law, associative law. The correct option is option number B, involution law. Involution law which states that the complement of a variable which is complemented again. We get the same variable which is called involution law for example x double bar which is also equal to x here is the diagrammatic representation the x double bar which is also equal to x the variable the complement of the variable which is complemented again so here is the diagrammatic representation x is complemented the first the x which is complemented by using the not gate so that is x bar then it is complemented again by using the not gate so that is x double bar x double bar which is also equal to x so that the involution law states that the complement of a variable which is complemented again then we get same variable next question dash logic diagram to represent involution law the options are a option b option c and option d so already the last questions I show that correct answer is the option B. In the 
the question number nine state complementarity law so what is the complementarity law the options are will combine a variable with its complement option b the complement of a variable is complemented again then we get the same variable option c when a variable is com combined with itself using the and and or operator output is the same variable option d is none of these so it is the correct answer the correct answer is option number a we will combine a variable with its complement so that the statements which are x plus x complement which is equal to 1 and x into x complement which is equal to 0 so this is a correct answer the next question is boolean expression the expression is x plus 1 which is equal to what the options are option a 0 option b 1 option c x option d none of the above so that the correct answer is 1 because according to the properties of the zeros and ones the x plus 1 which is equal to 1 1 so that is x so for example x is equal to 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 so another example if the x is equal to 0 0 plus 1 is equal to that is also equal to 1 so that x plus 1 which is equal to 1 the option b is the correct answer next question which of the following gives the logical multiplication as output the correct answer is b because and it is also called as the logical multiplication so that is option number b is the correct answer thank you if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon for the notification of the new videos thank you so much